Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is a Monday, and you know what that means. Upgrade packs should be returning for Team 2 of Fantasy Foot. Now, it sounds like we're getting a pretty good upgrade pack today, and there's a lot of reason to be excited because this means that it might be time to craft. There's a lot of SBCs that are available, more SBCs coming this week, and it sounds like an 81 plus player pick is going to be our upgrade SBC of choice this week, which a lot of people will be very excited about after last week with a very not exciting SBC in the 82 plus upgrade pack SBC. So if we're going to have a better upgrade this week with a player pick being the upgrade pack released today on Monday, that would be very nice. There's a lot of special cards that are in packs. We had the mini release, of course, released yesterday with the three brand new cards, Alvarez, Awar, Marino. We have the road to the final cards in packs, of course, foot fantasy team number two and man of the matches all in packs right now two pack from player picks, which will make this week an incredibly craftable week. And with the big SBCs that are out, a lot of people still working on them. There's a lot to craft. So we're going to take a look at that in today's video. Also talk about fodder, how it's still really, really low. But I think this is for the next week, at least for the next like four to five days. It's going to have to be the low point unless EA do some something crazy. Uh, the supply ends. Uh, it ended yesterday on Sunday, right? And we saw those prices on fodder stay really low and really investable once again. If you have not gotten any of those, I think we still will see some rises later on this week on that fodder. We also had our first Prime Icon Moments SBC release yesterday. So we're going to talk about all of that and how the market might react today after the weekend league rewards are given out to everybody on this game. So if you're excited to craft and you're excited for 81 plus player picks, hit the thumbs up on the video and of course subscribe if you're new. Now we're talking about 81 plus player picks, but this is old news on Twitter. Yes, it was actually leaked to come out yesterday on Sunday. Rare L here for Mr. Foot Sheriff. This was a shock to me. I saw the tweet before content drop yesterday, which was kind of weird. Again, they dropped the moments SBCs an hour early. Then they dropped um, the mini release at 6 p.m. So it was kind of weird, but this was tweeted out yesterday before content. He said upgrades coming today, which was surprised me because upgrades are always Monday SBCs and we didn't end up seeing them yesterday. So I don't know why he was tweeting this yesterday, but upgrade packs this year have like almost always been on Monday. So this would be the ones that we expect to see today. Since this was the leak yesterday, today we would expect to see the 81 plus player pick and the 81 to 87 upgrade. And like I said, it, this is the type of grind that so many people, myself included, have been looking forward to on these menus. Again, you have the fantasy foot cards from team number two with a lot of great cards that are in packs at the moment like Sissoko, Alexandro, Atal, of course the top tier guys like Usman Dembele, and you have guys like Coutinho and stuff like that. But now you also have brand new road to the finals that are in packs. People are going to want to try to craft player picks. Uh, go out, open those packs, try to pack cards like these Kyle Walkers, of course, like the promo cards that we have available. And of course, the upside to those being player picks, right? We know that the 81 plus player picks are very good. It's going to help us complete a lot of SBCs, whether you want to do Perisic, Antonio, Mbappe, uh, Madueke, or if you're still striving for greatness with the 92 plus prime or moments upgrade, if you're going for glory with this massively overpriced SBC, if you're still going to try to go for it and try to craft it, you're going to have that availability this week, probably with the 81 plus player pick. Now, it's not going to be that easy to craft. I mean, you need 88 and 89 rated players, but it might make your craft of this SBC a little bit more worth it if you're trying to go for something like that. And if they release any more SBCs throughout this week, which I think is very likely, it'll make the potential to craft those easier as well. So that's the biggest piece of content that we're looking forward to today on Monday. Now, if you remember last week to last Monday, last Monday was a pretty quiet day. Like the content, we, we literally had like nothing. It was a very, very quiet day content wise. And especially with the upgrade packs that we had being the 82 plus, it was not very good, but today's going to have some more hype. Even if it's just the 81 plus player pick SBC, what I would do if you're planning on doing some of these upgrade packs is go stock some non rares and some rare golds in your club from popular leagues, popular nations, so that it just, you're, you're ahead of the game. When the player pick drops, when the upgrade pack drops, you're going to have those cards in the club, spend 10 minutes buying cards off the market. You're going to save yourself a lot of coins and a lot of headache. Um, when gold rares jump, well, gold rares probably won't jump that much in price, but gold commons might go to like 500, 600 uh, coins. 
so up a couple hundred a piece. So if you want to go ahead and do that, I think that's a pretty smart idea, especially if you're going to go and do a lot of those upgrade packs today on this game. But again, what this bit brings out the potential for is that craft, like I mentioned, and with the Icon Moments SBCs that we had released yesterday, which was right on time, these are out for 91 days. That's like a whole three months that these cards are going to be out for. That is that is nice. EA Sports, I love this, right? Because what they're doing is they're dropping the end game icons, the best version of these icons that will be in the game through the rest of this year. And they're going to be released for a long time. If they keep this up with all the rest of the SBCs, which I would imagine they do, it's a tremendous dub because you're going to be able to start to craft these, especially during team of the season. I know we keep sprinkling in thoughts about team of the season, which is coming in like three weeks, four weeks. But that time when you have so many high rated dupes from opening packs, when team of the season cards are out, these icon moments SBCs are so craftable during that time with fodder that you have with duplicates doing packs. Just seeing the fact they're out for 91 days is an awesome, awesome sign. So these are going to be available during team of the season, which is going to be fantastic for those of us that are grinding the upgrade packs. And it gives you plenty of time to get it done. Uh, if Even if you're really not that excited about a Socrates or an Ashley Cole, you know, I think EA released these cards just a little bit overpriced. Uh, specifically the Socrates. The Ashley Cole is not really overpriced that much. You can see a lot of people are a fan of this SPC at 435,000 coins. Of course, this card on the market is, I believe, like 500,000 coins, so it's not really that big of a discount. But if you craft this, you're going to be able to get it done for less than 400k. Nice English links at left back. Nice card. Socrates, 1.07. It looks a lot better now than it did. Before, I'm pretty sure this SBC was like 1.15 to 1.2 million coins almost, which is around the price of this card in the market. Um, now, this Socrates card, as we get into team of the season, is definitely going to continue to drop in value since he's still only been in packs for, you know, like three weeks at the moment. So I think these cards are going to continue to drop down and the SBC will begin to look like worse value the longer that you wait. But if you're crafting it over the course of 91 days or 13 weeks, you got plenty of time. So the biggest W about these cards being released and these SBCs being released is that EA is back in action with Icon Moments player SBCs, which we were really hoping, hoping that they were going to be back at it soon. And they are. So that's really nice. Again, I think the other two cards that we have leaked are Schmeichel and Del Piero. So hopefully we will see those two Icon SBCs maybe out later on this week, maybe next week. I don't know what EA's schedule is going to be with these cards and how often they're going to release them. That'll be something we have to kind of keep a watch out for um, in that. But it's nice to have those SBCs back. Of course, also yesterday we had the mini release with R as the headliner player. I actually snagged an R tonight at like 780 um, just to see how much he could go up. And we'll talk about market stuff here in a second on how I think these cards could react and go a little bit higher today after weekly rewards, which is a common trend that we see. I think this card's overpriced though. I mean, what, what's new, right? The only thing that's making me a little bit skeptical, skeptical about this LR is if you guys remember Lucas Mora from last week. Lucas Mora started off incredibly, incredibly overpriced. He was like 1.1 million coins uh, last week when he was released on Sunday. And then on Monday, he went all the way down to like, it was like 700 and no, no, it was like 860,000 coins. And then he bounced back well over 900K. Like it was a crazy fluctuation where this card went down a ton actually it was like 810k and then went back up over 900 so you know keep an eye on maybe a, a, a similar situation for this outlaw because i think with all the other french midfielders that have been released i know this card is really rare i know he's really hype um i i know i also did buy one at 780 i'm really hoping that i can flip this one uh for like 840 830 or 840 before i go to sleep tonight and then potentially if he is panic sold again, get involved with that panic selling because I think this is a little bit expensive, just in my opinion. There's a lot of other great midfielders as a part of this promo, but I know this guy's cracked in game and he fits into everybody's team and he's just a FIFA player. So that was a nice card that was released yesterday, of course. Um, Alvarez is one that has a pretty nice card as well. Edson Alvarez, the 87 rated center, center defensive mid, 30,000 going to this card. He has got three star, three star, medium high, six two uh, IX. Very nice IX links. Nice card. Marino is a pretty nice card as well for a budget center mid in the La Liga. So those are your mini release cards as expected. Really no surprise there. Two cards that are pretty cheap and LR that is pretty expensive 
from yesterday. So let's talk a little bit more about today though, right? First of all, let's just speak about content. Besides the player picks that we're thinking we might be getting today, we could have an SBC. Again, might not be today. It might be pushed back until Tuesday. Again, remember last week we didn't have a lot of SBCs. I think we did have a player SBC last week on Tuesday was the last SBC. Like Antonio came out on Tuesday, I think. It was either Monday or Tuesday. I don't exactly remember. But this Malin card is like the only other item that is leaked right now. Danielle Malin is the only other leaked foot fantasy item at the moment. So this could be an SBC player that we see today. More likely tomorrow though on Tuesday in my opinion if EA kind of do the same um, thing as last week. But other than that, it might be kind of a quiet Monday besides maybe a player SBC, the upgrade packs, and, you know, they keep dropping these really small uh, pack supply SBCs in here as well. Whatever one they dropped yesterday, uh, free hit. No, it was called Rate My Team. I think they, they dropped the Rate My Team SBC yesterday as well. So probably going to see something else similar to this. You know, these free pack SBCs, not free, but very cheap uh, for a pack SBCs, probably see one of those stay on the game as well. Now let's talk market a little bit. Let's talk some shop because I have not been on the market a ton today. But like I said, with that Malin, I did pick up uh, one of those at a pretty low price. And it seems like the market yesterday was decently stagnant. Uh, you do have, of course, some of these cards that have gone on some nice fluctuations. Uh, Musa Sissoko yesterday got really low on Sunday Sunday night. It was like 400K. He bounced up to about 430 and has then been falling. He was actually 396. He's back up to about 410 right now. So you, you've seen some low prices this Sunday night into Monday morning, and some of these cards have bounced back. Martinelli was down. I think he was at like 490 again. That was the low point. Honestly, I think that was the low. Uh, 505. Yeah, 499, 496. Now he's back up to 525. These cards might get really low again right at the release of Weekend League Rewards. But then honestly, since these cards are so hyped and so many people want to try out these brand new Foot Fantasy 2 cards, I think you might see some of these rebounding back up post rewards today. That's a common that's a common theme that has been happening on Mondays these past few weeks. Now, I didn't buy any cards last week except for the Lucas Mora after the panic selling. You know, as a lot of the cards that I see right now, Martial is really rare. Yes, he's French. Doesn't have good work rates, though. You know, some of these cards could bounce back up. But what I would try to look for is look on these graphs, right? Let's pick, uh, let's look at Bamba, for example. Bamba's been a card that is in pretty high demand. Yesterday, he went from 258. He did peak at 274. He went back down to 263. Kind of low 260s was the lowest, but look, he's bouncing back up at a 270. So if you're on during rewards, some of these cards could be a watch. And also what you could watch out for today is the, obviously the rest of the out-of-packs market bouncing up a little bit. But these other fantasy cards from Team 1 are exploding still in price. I mean, Stones is approaching 500,000 coins. Jelson's 4, 650, 650 then. Man, that's so, 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 so up in price. All these cards continue to rise as there's not a lot of panic on the market right now, there's not a lot of coin drain. Like again, we did say we are going to be getting a uh, player pick SBC today. And, and those types of upgrade packs have been known to drain a few coins off of the market. But honestly, it would take more content than just an upgrade pack SBC to start seeing coins drained off the market at a rate where you would have to be worried about losing a lot of coins on those Team 1 cards from Foot Fantasy. So I, I really don't think that's a real like a genuine, I don't know if I'd say fear, but a worry. I don't think that's a really a real genuine worry uh, for me, thinking that we're going to lose a lot of coins on some of these cards from Team 1. If you haven't sold some of them yet, I still have Klostermans. I have Nannies. I know we keep talking about this. I know some of you guys have invested. Um, I still have a lot of these cards here, right? Nani. I got Mora's at 760. I got Stonesies at 390. Again, I show you guys this almost every video. It's nice to see an investment rising very nicely. Um, but I, I still think I'm holding right now at the moment until we see something crazy happen a little bit later on or until we continue to see the prices go up to a point where we feel like, okay, that's plenty. These cards aren't going to go up any more than this. And then we'll maybe sell when we get to that point. But, you know, other cards like this Usman is down her like crazy. 4.5 mil. He was 5152 yesterday. So that card is down a bunch on the market. And, you know, of course, we do have these brand new Road to the Finals um, and stuff like this as well. I think these cards are hype. These cards are really, really rare. Your, your Hernandez, your Tiago, your Kyle Walker. Um, you know, I, I haven't been watching these cards a whole lot. If I'm being completely honest, I'm actually going to go to Footbin. Let's let's take a look at this Kyle Walker. He's 400,000 coins at the moment. I think he had a pretty good fluctuation last night. Those Lucas Hernandez's that I bought, by the way, ended up being big money. Um, I bought a bunch of those Lucas Hernandez. 
at uh, four four seventy and sold them at like five thirty to five sixty. So that was a W. But three six seventy four, he went back up to the four hundreds. He's actually just kind of been chilling around four hundred. So maybe that Kyle Walker isn't the best flip. This Tiago has been bouncing. I still think he's overpriced. Taylor Hernandez here, who's five seventeen. Like I said, I bought a bunch of these on Saturday night, right around here, four hundred seventy thousand coins. And then sold them between 550 in here and in 570, I think, for a couple of lazies here. But, you know, it's a French center back. So if this were to dip under 500K, I would potentially get interested again. But I, at least at the moment, it doesn't look like it. So if you're going to try to make some coins today, I, I, even though they're in packs, these are the cards that people want to try out. Not all of these are going to rise today. Probably some specific ones would rise the most. Ones that I've seen bounce around the most in price and be the most consistent for flips would be Atal, Sandro, Martinelli, Sissoko, Bamba, and then of course, uh, Coutinho and Dembele have been super duper rare. So we'll see what happens with that part of the market today. Now let's talk fodder one second as well, because I know we talked a lot about SBC fodder in yesterday's video i think it was a great investment i st i still think that it is and i haven't finished my club stock 84s or 3k wow these cards are really really low the loads here on fodder is down bad i mean it was even it was even lower a couple hours ago uh, but like even if you look at the daily graph where this has been recently we're at 198 points on the index we have not been under 200 points on the index since the early February. That's how low fodder is at the moment. And we have these crazy peaks in here. You can see last Tuesday, 342. The Tuesday before that, 321. You know, so I, I think that we, we may not see fodder prices back up to like a huge peak, you know, today on, on Monday or tomorrow to, on Tuesday, depending on the content that they drop. I just think this, this is too cheap. I think these cards are too cheap for right now with the SBCs that they could be dropping um, and the SBCs that are probably going to come in the next couple of weeks before team of the season anyway. It might end up being a little bit longer of a hold if nothing insane comes this week. Uh, but I think this is a buy. I really do. On the 83s, 84s, 85s, 86s, uh, I'm going to go through and finish finishing stocking my club. Of course, this stuff... The higher rated, 90s, 91s, 92s, still incredibly high. Still could go higher today, of course, because people are going to get their rewards and maybe try and go finish that primer moments, 92 plus upgrade that is out there. So these could bounce back up a little bit. I'd also keep an eye on your team of the week. I know a lot of people are looking to invest in this week's team of the week, especially guys like Klaus, Koman, uh, Abamyang, Yunmin Sun, who is 116,000 coins. What was his low price yesterday, right? He was he was down to like one one ten, I think has been like the lowest for this sunny. But again, the supply is kind of ending because we're coming out of the weekend. They're not gonna have all the lightning rounds like crazy. We'll still have some lightning rounds. Last week they ran some on Tuesday. Um, and you know, maybe they'll do that again this week. But if they put out, you know, if they put out good SBCs, that's the, that's going to make the SBC fodder go up. But what, what we're really focused on for these informs is the supply is, is stopping for some of these cards. So if I might try to snag myself a little first owner sunny here if I can at the 59th, maybe for like 110 or something like that, just to stash in the club because I think that's I think that's pretty cheap. You see people bidding. I hear that this card sells for really, really good for lazies. And I think 110 for me is a price that I just can't pass up on. So low amount of tax as well. So, you know, if you're trying to invest in any of this team of the week, again, just be careful. Just be careful because it is very supplied with all the lightning rounds that we have had. But that team of the week pack supply and, of course, the lightning rounds are ending for the most part for these team of the weeks. Uh, I'm also watching this Usman, man. If I could snag one at like 4-4 low, I think that's kind of where his lowest price has been. Maybe I'll try to buy one of those. And then I'm probably going to buy a couple of these cards tonight just to try to flip from the fantasy team too. But I might not go too hard with it um, and then wait till tomorrow morning and see what we have. Stock some club, stock the club with some stuff and then go from there. It's been a good weekend of trading. It's been a good weekend of making coins. Seeing that coin balance rise still uh, with all the investments that we have on the transfer list feels very, very nice. And it's going to go down a bit doing a club stock. Uh, but it's been, a, it's been a nice, uh, trend recently of making that coin balance go up in that top left-hand corner. So it's, it's good to be making coins before a team this season. We've been on a nice roll and I want to continue that. So I'm going to keep an eye on some of these cards, try to risky flip it a little bit if we have that opportunity, but this hour, I think I'm going to try to get out at like 8:30 or 8:40 just in case there's panic selling tomorrow morning like there was in that Lucas Mora, but I could see it going the other way as well because this guy has a lot of hype. Uh, Awar is definitely in FIFA terms more hyped than a four-star, four-star Lucas Mora right mid just after we had Gelson Martins and uh, Sancho 
the week before that. So that's kind of my opinion of what is going on at the moment today. It's again, it's a Monday, right? We almost always see market rises on Monday mornings. We'll see if that continues again today. Um, and we talked about the leaked SBC. We we'll talked about the uh, player picks for today. I think we've kind of covered it all. So today's we're really going to see if is EA going to make it a quiet Monday or are they going to splash something interesting on us today? We'll have to keep an eye out for that. But player picks are nice and we like those. And I'm excited to start crafting and hopefully packing some of these insane foot fantasy cards, road to the finals, maybe an Hyunmin Sun, and honestly just fodder because I am on the road to finishing Mbappe this week. If we get 81 plus player picks, we are going to go pretty hard this week. I know we're trying to do a lot of coins for team of the season and a lot of packs there, but with this Mbappe and with these cards and packs right now being so expensive and so elite to try to hit, I'm going to try to hit a few of them. And fodder, of course, is a premium for all these SBCs. So we're going to try to do some of that this week. And I know a lot of other people are going to do that as well. And that's kind of an exciting feature about what this week could bring us is that crafting aspect which has been missing for the past couple of weeks because the upgrade packs have not been it but hopefully that does change today if you're excited for upgrade packs hit a thumbs up on this video of course if you do have any questions comment down below and subscribe if you're new that's it for monday boys i hope you have a good start to the week hopefully ea starts it off well with content in this game it has been nate the photo i will catch you guys later peace